In today's English lesson, you will learn how some words with a TH are actually pronounced like the letter T. Let's get started. Don't miss a lesson. Click the red subscribe button, then click the bell. Hello, Real Fluency friends. I'm Trisha, and I'm here to teach you real English using real life so that you can reach real fluency now. And today, I will help you to pronounce some words with a TH that are a little confusing. Now, in this lesson, it's not a complete lesson on how to make the TH sounds. I know that can be confusing for a lot of English learners, and I will do that in another lesson. But in this lesson, I'm just going to talk about when the TH sounds like the letter T. So sometimes it sounds like a T rather than one of the other more usual sounds of TH. A few of them are names. Teresa, for example, which is sometimes spelled without the H. But it's spelled, it's pronounced Teresa, not Theresa. Teresa. Thomas. Thomas, the shortened form of Thomas. Tom is usually spelled without the H, but some people will and still include the H in it and spell it like T-H-O-M, but still pronounce it Tom. Also, a common last or family name is Thompson. Thompson. You may also be familiar with the famous music composer Beethoven. At least in English, we pronounce the TH as a T, Beethoven. The Thames River in England is also just pronounced Thames with a T sound. However, there is also a river in the same name in the state of Connecticut, and the people there usually pronounce it like Thames, although there are also other rivers with the same name that are pronounced like the, the British way of like Thames. We pronounce, we pronounce the country Thailand as Thailand, even though it's a TH, starts with a TH. And the food from Thailand we call Thai food, even though that's spelled with a TH too, Thai food. Now, when I was younger, the word Neanderthal was pronounced with a TH sound as Neanderthal. But recently, it seems like the more official pronunciation is to pronounce that TH as a T and to pronounce it Neanderthal. You may hear it both ways. There is also a small plant that is used as an herb or a spice that is spelled with a TH, but is pronounced like a T, and that is thyme. Thyme. Of course, there's also thyme, T-I-M-E, which is also pronounced the same way. But this thyme is T-H-Y-M-E, but still, the T-H sounds like a T, so time. But be careful because there are some compound words that have a T and an H next to each other in the middle of the word, but they are pronounced as the individual words are pronounced. For example, outhouse, pothole, and sweetheart. Now, an outhouse, this is an extra bit of information, is like a bathroom or toilet that is outside. And it's usually kind of gross. A pothole is um, a hole in the road, like sometimes roads, they get old after a while and they need to be fixed and there's like a big hole in it. You don't like to drive through potholes. It's not good for your car. There's no quiz again today, but I suggest uh, writing these words down so you can remember if you think you might not remember that the TH in these words is pronounced like a T. And that's all for today's lesson. It was pretty short. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done that yet. And in a few seconds, you will see the link to join my email group. And if you have the time, then please stick around and watch more of my English lessons here on YouTube. Goodbye, and remember, with hope, anything is possible. The Thames River in England, I wrote English in English. We pronounce the country name of Thailand and food from, no are actually pronounced like the letter T. Let's get started. Oh, did you have to do that? Let me do that again. 